Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of List to the Vibes. I have here the wonderful Miss Rachel Maldonado. How are you today, Rachel? Oh, I am good, Kyle. Thanks. <laughs> well, uh, you're into therapy and all that good stuff. Um, I yes. Know you, you work with a lot of couples um, with relationship yes. problems. So I am a therapist. Mm -hmm. I am also a life coach. And I see individuals as well as couples, but I like couples. It's my favorite because of the nuance. It, you know, it's a little dicier. It's a little more complicated. You've got two <laughs> people, you know, two sets of things going on. And so that's why I like it is because it is more complicated and it is more nuanced. Well, everybody, of course, is their own individual person and they have their own way of thinking. But, you know, it's all about compromise and coming to an agreement when it comes to couples and which is i think why my relationship with my wife now is it's so wonderful because number one we we do have a lot in common but we also have different things that we like individually and she's introduced a lot of things into my life that i now accept into my life and i've done the same for her um but, the, you know, I feel sorry for the generation that's kind of, mm. you know, trying to get into family life or dating and stuff, because this is a whole different generation. This is a whole different way of thinking. And I, yeah. I want to be fair. So um, we discussed this before we got on the show that we wanted to do a show talking ab about feminism and um what men kind of expect or they don't understand um and like i say we're gonna we're gonna see things from both sides uh, we, but we have to have an honest and open conversation otherwise we're never going to solve anything you see people on social media yeah. everybody's pointing fingers and they're yelling and screaming and you know I, I see this side screaming about this and then the other side says oh yeah well blah 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 this it's just a constant battle, but nobody wants to sit down and have an honest conversation. So we're going to try to bring these things to light, see what we can compromise on, and maybe we can see things from each other's perspective. So, Yes, I love it. You know, that is so beautiful. And you said something, you said, hey, an honest conversation. And that is just the baby step that, hey, you know, we want to talk about things that are important to men and women. Exactly. I love it. Exactly. Because men, honestly, everyone that I've talked to, they have all these stories, but they don't know what to do anymore because they're, mm. they're afraid. Honestly, What's they're afraid. What's a story? What, what do they say? Okay. Well, I'm going to use an example from someone that I know, and this has happened to me as well. In fact, a lot yeah. of these things have happened to me. So that's kind of why I wanted to start our conversation off with these topics and we're planning on doing more of these because people want to know they generally want to know yes um you have the alpha male mm. and you know they're they're the go-getters they're the you know the the hunter this kind of thing and then you of course what we call the beta male who's you know oh i'm just gonna cower to everything and, you know i'm I'm sorry for every male out there. I just want to listen to mm. what the female has to say. Then you kind of have that group that's a little bit of both that honestly want to do the right thing, but they want to be a man the way that they were taught to be a man. And being from the South, um, especially here in Texas, uh, I can only speak for Texans. We were taught um, to be courteous and to be respectful to other people. And one of the ways we do that is that we open doors for people. Yeah. And I've noticed, and this is like I say, coming from somebody that I know and then myself personally, that, you know, it's just a, a respect thing that you open the door for somebody. And I do that for men and women. If I'm the first person at the door, I, I open the door and say, hey, please, you know, you first. And I get the dirtiest looks from some women really? and they get offended that mm. you want to open the door for them. And some of them will be vocal. Some of them just give you a dirty look, but the, 
the biggest complaint you hear is that uh, I'm more than capable of opening my own door. You know, you, yeah. I'm, I, you, I don't need somebody doing that for me. And, and I understand you don't, you don't need somebody to open the door for you, but that's just a respect thing for me. What is it from your perspective? Mm, yes, yeah, so that's very interesting because there's a lot of doors, so we all can relate to this, especially when you got grocery bags and, you know, it's a little hard. You only got two hands and they're full. So, you know, I have a lot of girlfriends and I am in the Midwest, so we're very casual in the Midwest. And I 100% have girlfriends who would just say casually, like, you know what, if a man tried to open the door, I would let the door slam in his face, you know, and they just, you're joking about it, but maybe they need it. And then you're saying that some of these women, they actually do glare at you. Yeah. And so you do have, every person is a little bit different. And then the nuance is that they will act different with different people. So a man in Texas, maybe that's how he's raised, you know, you open the door for women, you know, versus a man is somewhere else. So you got all of these nuances and individuality going on. And I think that a couple of things that I'm noticing right off the bat is that for men, this must be very Using, and I'm interested in your thoughts on that, just this constant rejection and you don't know what to do. And then my suggestion for men, because it's not an easy question, is that try not to internalize it because you got a few women who don't like it and you will really hang on to that because it was very unpleasant to go through that. So you tend to remember things that are unpleasant. And you really just have to let it go and say, you know what, this is how I like to do things, or there are other women who appreciate me, you have to hang on to what you want to do, and you do it anyway. So that, you know, that I would just throw that out there for the men. But then what do you think? I'm not a man. Is this hard for men to get the door slammed in your face? And you're just trying to be nice. Well, when you have been raised a certain way and that's something you've known all your life, it's not something you're just going to give up overnight. Mm. Um, and it's very confusing. And I'm like you said, I, that's just something I'm always going to do because that's the way yeah. I was taught to be polite. Um, I, and I, I told you before, I do that for men and for women. And it's not that I yeah. don't think you're capable. It's just to me, that's, it's just a sign of respect that you're respecting the person. Uh, it, it's so confusing. Um, yes. I, I want to go, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. And may I ask you, so, you know, there's what you do, you open the door or not. And like, you know, I'm a man from the South. It's just how I was raised. So I do. And then what do you and your male friends feel about these women who don't like it in this kind of new, you know, new way of doing things where sometimes it's that you, know, you used to think this is just how it's done. And now you're like, well, I don't know how it's done. You know, there's a million ways of how it's done now. You know, how do men feel about these women or these attitude that's out there? I mean, if, if you want an open and honest reaction to that, um, first thing in your mind is what a freaking jerk, you know? Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe not that pleasant of a word, but um, I mean, do you, do you just, do you think I, I'm trying to be nice and you're slapping me in the face for trying to be a nice person. Well, what's wrong with that? And let me give something back. Um, there are some guys that have not done that, not opened the door, helped a, a lady and they get shunned for that too. Yeah. You know, they're berated for that. Like, how dare you? Why, why didn't you have enough courtesy to do that? And that's a catch 22 situation. You're, you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't, this is why it's so confusing. I mean, do I need to ask permission? May I open the door for you? I mean, that's just been an automatic thing. That is very, that is very confusing. You know, I, I'm not a man, but I, if I were to put myself in a man's shoes, I would say, yes, that is very confusing. And, you know, for the men who are trying to decide what to do, 
I would say I really like how you view things, which is that you decide for yourself, you think for yourself, and it can be very hard in the world or you're very discouraging and you've got a lot of mixed signals. So I'm not saying it's not hard, but I think for the men, it is important that you find people that you respect and admire. And you're like, I would like to be like that. And then you decide for yourself and you think for yourself, like, what is it that I want to do? And then you do it. So you said that piece of, well, I just do it anyway. This is how I was raised. This is what I want to do. And I really like that. Uh, do you think men are interested in doing things their own way? It's not so much that it's their own way. It's just, that's, that's a sign of respect. I mean, just like if you go to another country and, you know, they, they have traditions that are a lot different than ours. For some household, it's you take your shoes off before you walk in the, in the door. That's just a sign of respect. Or, you know, I, there's probably a million different examples all over the world. Things that we don't think about is something very major to them. That's the way I feel. This is a big deal for me. Because yes. I, I like to be respectful. I like to, to, to make somebody happy. Hmm. But at the same time, we think, I want to be respectful. I want to do what this person wants, but we don't know. We don't know what yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah. I really like that, Kyle, you know, you talk about an honest conversation. And part of that is this education piece, which is you're telling women that I do it as a sign of respect. And I think that if there's a woman listening to this, they might be like, oh, that's interesting. You know, it's not, it has nothing to do with my ability or that I can open the door or that I want to open the door. You know, those things are all fine. It's that this man, he has a different perspective, which is that he likes to do it as a sign of respect. And it is that honest conversation piece where you explain yeah, beautiful. I love it. It gets even dicier too, because the door is the easy stuff. It's, you know, it's simple, but it gets ramped up when men do other things too, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, as I was saying, I like to make people smile. Yeah. That's, that's kind of my lot in life is I like to bring joy to people. And I like to see yeah. smiles on their faces. And once again, I do this as equally for men as I do for women. If I see somebody that's down in the dumps, I try to say something kind of witty, you know, something that could, you know, make you giggle, you know, stupid little dad jokes is what my yeah, kids call it. Yeah, love them. it. Um, you know, and they're, they are goofy, but let's, let's face it. Some of the goofiest, dumbest jokes make us laugh the hardest just because they're so goofy. But if I see somebody that that's looks like they're a little down, I'm like, Hey, let's, you know, I'll tell them the joke or whatever, and, and they still don't look so happy. I'm like, you know, just, just smile. The world wants to see you smile. They get offended. And my wife yeah. explained this to me. She said, some people just, they just don't feel like smiling for mm. whatever reason. And I understand that. I, I, I live with depression. I know what it's like, but I still, if somebody goes out of the way to try to make me smile, I'll, I'll at least try to fake it anyway, even if yeah. I don't feel like it. Fake it till you make it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing is it's, it's a, it's a respect. It's a courtesy thing for me, but I mean, what, so, do, what do you do? I mean, it's, you get, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, but you know, a, a lot of women's not all, I'm just saying there's a lot of women out there that they, they think it's an unwarranted, unwanted, um, it's like you're trying to hit on them or something and you're that, that's not always the case not all men are like that <laughs> yeah 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 you know so you have added layer upon layer of nuance there's a lot of things going on with this and you talk about this kindness piece that you just want to spread a little joy mm -hmm. and you want to make someone laugh it's not always because you're hitting on someone you're married you know and I think that when you have these interactions with people, the part that's confusing is that there's your intent and then there's how that person perceives it. 
sometimes they're aligned and when they're aligned they laugh and you have a good moment and you have a, like a little joy in your life for a moment i think those are good things and then sometimes you meet people and they're not aligned and this is where it gets so confusing and then you add in the mix of like men and women and like i know i'm not hitting on you i'm i'm, I'm married i'm good and so uh with women what even even doubly confusing is that you can have the one man and you can crack a joke and you even give a compliment, wrap it, wrap it up. And the woman is all smiles and happy and she likes it. And you can have another man do the exact same thing. And the woman is offended and she doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. And so men are looking at this and they're like, this is confusing. It's very yeah. confusing. I and mean, you see this, right? And yeah, you, you, it happens to you. You genuinely have guys out there that just want to see other people smile. That's all it is. You're not trying to yeah. hit on them. You're not asking them out. You just, you just want to bring joy to other people's lives. I mean, you see how the world is already. Things are so, it's, it's like a one big division. And some of us want to bring us back together and not have that divide. It's okay if you have a different opinion about things. And I want to respect you as a person, but, yeah. Just know that there's some genuine feelings of just wanting to make you happy. Yeah, so yeah, I do? like it. Yeah, I like it. You know, I, you know, my my tip for men with this, it would be that uh, this sounds a little, it's a little different, but I would say, cut your losses. You see ten people in a week. Four act like normal human beings. They appreciate you. They laugh back. You know, maybe. Two is just an off day. You give it a pass, have an off day. And then you got four who are rude. And, you know, I would say you don't stop being who you are. Like you say, you open the door. It's a respect thing. It's your you know, Southern man. This is how you do things. You still do things the way that you want. And then the people who don't appreciate you, you know, again, maybe an off day, you're like, who knows you, sometimes you give people a pass and then the other people, you cut your losses, you move on, you know, you, you stop trying to make them laugh. Like they don't deserve joy at this moment. You know, it takes effort from you to be joyful. Maybe you're having a bad day. Also, this took some effort on your part and the people who don't appreciate it, move on, cut your losses concentrate on the people who appreciate it and you'll know within seconds you'll know very early on in an interaction if the person is reciprocal and sometimes you can change their mind but sometimes you don't have the energy yourself to change someone's mind like you're also tired and depressed so that that is my tip for men like cut your losses do what you want keep being yourself keep spreading joy keep cracking jokes, keep being kind. And the individuals who are not into it, like, let them go, let them go. <laughs> you know, I, I'm curious from your friends who are men, do they find that they just stop being a gentleman, stop doing acts of kindness because it is wearing to get their, you know, rejection? It does wear on a lot of guys. Um, everybody yeah. that I've talked to, it's like they, they keep saying, you know what, I'm just not going to do it anymore. But then mm. out of nature, they do it anyway. Just, yeah. You know, you've, you're so used to that and you just want people to understand. I'm not doing this to, you know, to, uh, yeah. to hurt your feelings or to make you think that I'm trying to, to sleep with you or anything like that. It's just, I'm genuinely a nice person and I just want to spread that joy. It's, it's kind of a pay it forward thing, I guess. You just want yeah. to sp spread that joy to as many people as you can and hope that that leads to the next person and the next person. And even when I'm having the most down days and I mm. just don't feel like it, I still find myself trying to make other people smile. Yeah. And what do you say to your friends, the men, in your life and what would you say to other men that when you're discouraged because you've gotten rejected a lot or you know it just had some very unpleasant situations what would you say to the men would well, you say keep trying or what would you say to them that's it's hard what, out there that's what i want to say mm, but to be quite honest 
uh, you know, those, those conversations behind closed doors, when you have guys tell you that you're like, yeah, man, it's just not worth it anymore. That's mm. what, that's what you, that's what we say, or at least in my, my circle, that's what we say yeah. to each other. You just, man, I'm fed up with it, but then you keep mm-hmm. trying anyway, but mm you know, from conversations like this. And then when it's on my mind, I really should tell them, you know what, you keep being that great person that you are. And yeah, don't let those few that are out there, there, there are men out there that are jerks. I know that. I know that's all they want have on their mind is, Hey, I want to sleep with you, but we're not all like that. I don't care what some people say. We're not all the same. Mm. Some of us are actually nice guys. Yeah. You know, I really, really like that as part of an honest conversation, you say, hey, men behind closed doors, you know, this is hard for us. Sometimes we don't want to do it anymore. And I think that that you need to put that out in the world because it's a warning, you know, to others to say, hey, look, there are consequences to your actions. You cannot be a jerk. And, you know, and, and think that there are not consequences. And so I like that you mentioned that behind closed doors, this is what men are thinking. This is how we feel. And then once in a while, you're like, well, you know, we have an honest conversation. Maybe we do a, a little educating. And then at the end of the day, more times than not, you know, maybe I will keep trying. I will keep being kind. I really appreciate that piece. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to be as open about this as I I can, because it's important that people know this Mm -hmm. is the way people are in public and this is the way people are in private. You know, it may not always be what, you know, people want to hear, but this is what conversations are like when nobody else is around. Yeah. And quite honestly, I mean, there's a lot of topics we could cover. And of course, we're not going to be able to do that in one show. But there's a lot of things that are on our minds that we say to each other behind closed doors that I don't think people realize. And maybe if they were the fly on the wall, they would know where we're coming from and they would understand. And they'd say, you know what, maybe we don't think too much differently. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's interesting that you also said something else, which is that a lot of men they truly want to do something good, that they're good guys at heart. Um, what else are men saying like about that piece? They're like, I want to be a good man. Well, that's, that's the thing. You know, when you do get into a deeper conversation with guys, they want mm. to genuinely do the right thing. You know, yes, yeah, sometimes you've got that guy who's just like, you know what, I haven't had any in a long time. I'd like to go out and find some, but you know, they know where to draw the line. They really do. Now there are some guys out there that they don't know where to draw the line. I, I and we don't like those kind of guys. The people in, I'll yeah. just say the people in my circle, we don't like those kind of guys. We don't like that pushy guy that doesn't know how to take no for an answer. We don't like the guys that take things a little too far. Though they give us a bad name when we, we don't, we don't put up with it. And, um, and it, it, and it hurts us in the long run when you've got those jerks, because then you've got a woman that's had this happen to them mm-hmm. from a jerk. And so they think that we're all the same way, but you can't lump us all in the same category. You just can't. Yeah. Nobody no, wants agree. to be lumped in the same category with other people that do things that are bad. So. And what would you say to women you know, that fly on the wall, what would you say to that you want women to know that how women can encourage men to keep their spirits up, to keep trying to be a good man? It is not easy. If you get knocked down enough, you know, it's hard for men not to feel bitter. And like you said, like, I'm not going to try anymore. Like I'm done. You know, what can women do? Would be awesome. Good women to help men be good men. It it would be awesome if say we we're making a compliment or, Mm. you know, opening a door or something. And we're going to get in talking about compliments here in a minute. But if, if the lady genuinely does not want that, just say, Hey, you know what? I appreciate the sentiment, but I, I, I just don't, don't need it. I don't take it, whatever. I'm not trying to be a jerk to you. I just, this is how I feel. 
hey, I'm cool with that. You tell me how you feel, but I'm not a mind reader. No. I, I don't know no. how you're thinking. I don't know, you know, what's happened to you in the past. I just, I just genuinely want to be a, a nice guy. Yeah. Oh, you, so you hit on something really good. The money piece, which is men are not mind readers and women are, you know, they're a little confusing. Like they can change their mind on a dime. Like what they thought 10 minutes ago is now no longer what they think. It's very hard. And so this piece that you're not a mind reader. And so you're saying, Hey, for women, you can think what you want. You say what you want. As long as you say it in a polite way exactly. and it's okay to tell me. You know, it's okay to say, hey, you know, thank you for the lovely compliment. Uh, you know, just so you know, I'm, you know, not available, but I thank you for the compliment or something like that. Just keep it simple and say what you want. Yeah, I really like that. That's an amazing, that's a good tip. Yeah, an education piece. And, and then you see you you have more about the compliment <laughs> piece. It's hard, yeah? This is This is the part that you, you know, a lot of guys are reluctant to do. But, um, you know, like when we first got on, I was just telling you, oh, my God, I'm jealous of your hair. I wish my hair was that way. And you just want to make somebody feel good. You know, you point out, hey, you, you have nice hair or I'm really digging that outfit that you got on. Yeah. Um, I, I'm dating myself. I said the digging. I, yeah, I dig that. <laughs> I say I do. <laughs> but I mean, OK, once again, I know there are jerks out there, but there's people like me who are genuinely just trying to make somebody's day and say, Hey, I recognize that you, you know, you look nice today. And I just want to say how nice you are. And it's not that I'm hitting on you. Believe me. I, I will tell women that in front of my wife and she knows that you know, she says, you're a flirt. And I'm like, I don't see it that way. But she goes, I, I like it because you're being nice to people, you know? Yeah. And I genuinely yeah. just want to say, hey, look, you look nice today. You may, you know, especially if you put in an effort to try to look nice, then you should, you should have that acknowledgement. And that's all it is for a lot of us. We just want to acknowledge the fact, hey, you look nice. You're, you're very And so when person. men try to be polite, respectful, they're just being kind, you know, or nice or flirt or who, who knows, who cares? And do men find that they get a lot of negative reactions from women? And I, I will say this just from the people that I hang out with. Uh, a lot of times when you do compliment somebody, they might not necessarily come out and say, hey, I don't need that. They just kind of, yeah. they, you can see the expression on their face, like, really, you know, mm. and it's, I'm not hitting on you. I just say it. Hey, you look nice. I'll even tell a guy if a guy's dressed nice and he's looking pretty slick, man, you look good, great today. That's just a respect thing. That's, yeah. It's, it's so courtesy. men are seeing women, you know, their attitude is, how dare you say something to me? And it, it does it come across as very arrogant or mm -hmm. how, how is it? it uh, what are you talking about from the, the men's side? Yeah, or from men, the you know. Side? The men are seeing women who react in a negative way, and and it it's a very unpleasant experience, right? Well, you well, you, you you feel embarrassed. I mean, it's mm. you get that you get red faced, and you feel that yeah. you know how you feel when you're embarrassed by something. You're like, oh my god, what did I just do? And that's not what we're trying to do, you know. And you get this enough, and you stop trying because it's an un, it's unpleasant to feel know, that way. It, it is very unpleasant, and. You know, if I, I and I, I still do it, even when yeah. people look at me like, how dare you? Don't when, OK, when I get dressed up, I want people to notice that I got dressed up. I'm in a nice yeah. suit or whatever. It's like, hey, I, you know, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling confident. Uh, and I want somebody to say, hey, you look nice today. So I want to reciprocate that and make somebody else feel that way. If I if they actually went out of their way to look nice, Aren't they trying to tell the world, hey, look at me? Mm -hmm. Isn't that what yeah. it is? So when somebody acknowledges mm -hmm. that, why do you get offended by it? Yeah. So, you know, women are not simple. And it <laughs> is very confusing for men. Because, again, you have man A, he comes up. And the women is all smiles and flirting back and happy or just like the compliment. Then you got guy B show up. 
he does the exact same thing and the woman is just like you know how dare you talk to me so it is very confusing for men it's very confusing for men and i would say if i had to give a uh, a, a primer to men or a tip to men this is completely nuanced and individualized you have to know how to read body language and interpersonal and the situational. You know, what you do at work is different than when you're talk shop in line at Target or how you're acting very casual, hanging out with people that you meet at a concert versus showing up in line for something serious. Mm -hmm. So there's so many things that go into it. And that is the most confusing thing for men is that they're like, wait a second, that woman was all smiles when he showed up. And when I do the same, they act like, like I'm, you know, you know, not worthy to wipe their shoes or something. And it's <laughs> insulting. It is very insulting. So, and I, you know, and this happens and it's real. And that would be my explanation to men, which is not overly helpful, but it is, <laughs> Truly, you have to, it is, it is different if you have to nuance it is the, my best explanation because you literally will have the same man do the same thing to the same woman and you will get a different reaction based on the man. It's very confusing. So if the yeah. woman is attracted to the man or finds the man attractive, she'll be more Bingo. receptive to it. And mm -hmm. if the guy's not so attractive, then she's like, oh my God, how could you dare? But see, that's not fair. Yes, it's not fair. Life is not fair. This is true. Life is not fair. So you have to, you, you, I think for men, and I'm not a man, but I imagine it's very unpleasant. I think that men have to learn how to manage emotion in this piece. And so you always do what you want. You stray true to your core in order to keep up that confidence and then you cut your losses. So, you know, you keep trying, like say you're single and you just, you want to ask someone on a date and mm -hmm. you get rejected, you know, cut your losses. Okay. That woman reacted however she did. And you know, uh, well, better I learn now before I, you know, spent my time and money. So it's a good mm -hmm. thing. And you keep trying and you cut your losses. And you just learn how to nuance these situations. I'm not saying that a woman who treats a man like he doesn't deserve to talk to her is good. I, you know, I think that's abhorrent. I think that's not how you treat humans. I don't like it. You know, I don't approve of it. But I'm saying for the men because I, I don't want to say, hey, that doesn't happen. That's not real. I'm like, no, it is real and it is hard any kind of rejection, like you said, the embarrassment, it's, it's, it's sometimes it will just stop men in their tracks. It's I'm not doing that again. So it is real. And my, my real life tip for men is to keep practicing so that you know how to nuance. You look at the one woman and she has, you know, resting bitch face, like, you know, just don't go there, you know? So you just, you get a little bit better at it. And sometimes you could, you know, you think, man, I got the green light or, you know, I'm just saying, hi, she's 80. I'm just being polite by offering to bring in her groceries. Like I, you know, and she's still like glared at me, but, you know, maybe she's having an off day. And so you, when these things happen to you, 10 times, 10 interactions, 10 women, you got four, they act like a normal human being. You got two, you know, not normal. And you got four and you just straight up confused. But you live for the four. You go for the four. And the others, you cut your losses. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. What? what do you think? Do you think that this would help men to be like, okay, I can still do what I want. You know, I, I can still live my life and have a good time and approach women or compliment women or be kind to women. Well, if, if I had to, t to sit down with somebody, one of my buddies, and tell them exactly the what, or what I feel like they should do, and from what I'm gathering from this conversation, number one, be, continue to be a polite person, because we this world needs polite people. Yes, yes. And, but when the people reject you for it, don't get upset, just cut your losses, move on. And for mm. heaven's sakes, you guys out there that that just want to, you think that you're God's gift to women, don't don't push things. 
don't go overboard. Don't don't cross that line because you're making yes. the rest of us who are genuinely nice guys look bad. Mm. So beautiful. Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's a good thing to point out. I want to add because you know I can never just leave stuff alone. I like not. to add layer on layer nuance. So the piece that you said that's very interesting. You're like, hey, you know, guys, maybe just don't get upset. I would add that it's okay to be upset. If you get rejected, you feel embarrassed, your natural inclination is to be a little mad or to be upset or to right. be embarrassed. So I, I don't necessarily know if I would say, you know, don't be upset. I would say, I learn how that. to manage, yeah. learn how to manage, That's learn how to triage. And sometimes blowing up because you had a lot going on at home and then this was just the last straw and it was a minor incident but now you just it's just too much and you got very angry you know maybe that is not a, appropriate a volcano for something minor is not appropriate for the situation but some things are appropriate right. to be like you know what that woman was inappropriate to me she was disrespectful she was rude you know it's okay to acknowledge or in your mind say i think this is right i think this is wrong or i feel this or i don't feel this i don't think it, you should um brush things under the rug but you just learn how to manage them or to think about them in a smart manner right. so it goes back to our honest conversation we have a conversation you want to say some things like this you know this is how men think or feel and then on my end i'm like oh that's you know that's interesting these are some things that maybe we don't know and if we realize that it was this maybe we would have a different reaction so maybe just that piece you don't deny some things are okay to feel yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I want to make that clear. It's okay to feel that way on the inside. Um, you know, if, if you get treated badly by somebody, just say, look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend. Uh, you have a wonderful day. Move on. Don't, you know, I've seen this happen yeah. where guys are mm -hmm. like, pardon my language. They'll say, you, you bitch or you whore mm. and, you know, and things mm. like that. That is not the right message. not helpful that's not helping anybody <laughs> pour gasoline you know you, you might be thinking that in your head but don't blurt it out mm. okay you know it's a, it's you get upset if i get upset about things too but if you just yeah. leave me alone for a few minutes i'll get over it and i'm fine yeah. but when you hold things inside and then all of a sudden you blurt something out that's you know, I'm, I'm not holding anything. But when you just blurt things out like that, you're, you're not only hurting yourself, but what you'd have tried to accomplish in the first place, you've pretty much mm. just told that person, see, you didn't really want to make me happy. You just had an agenda. Yeah. That's, that's the wrong way of approaching things. Don't, mm. don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, I love it. I like it. <laughs> yes. You know, I really, really appreciate that, that you're also just, you're adding on another layer too, which is, you know, you may think this, but do you need to say it? Right. Because making it worse, and then we're trying to cross a bridge, men, women, we think different, we act different, and, you know, life is hard, and we're trying to cross the bridge, and, you know, you're just going to be running in the other direction if you yeah. act on some of these things so i love it beautiful yeah that's, yeah, that's, that's not helping anyone when you get out of hand yeah. like that and uh, you know i just said you you're you're you've just totally thrown everything out the window that you were trying to accomplish in the first place and yeah. you're making like us other guys look bad and the well I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to beat a dead horse, but we've got yeah. so many topics that we can talk on and we yeah. honest, we need honest, open communication. So we kind of know what to do. To me, it just boils down to be nice to one another, be kind. Mm. You know, do you... And I, I would like to add that, you know, I think that men are good. A lot of men want to be a good man. Mm -hmm. and women should encourage this it only helps us it only helps us so i love your perspective and i think that you had some real good tips for men and you're a man 
So you speak Last your I language, checked. you know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know stuff. And I really appreciate it. I love it. Well, I was pretty much raised by my grandfather and I wanted to be more like him. Yeah. Um, you know, he went out of his way to try to make people smile and, you know, make people laugh. And he was so joyous all the time. And this man had every reason to be bitter. Uh, he had been in an accident at work and was paralyzed from the waist down. Wow. And instead of being bitter, he would even make jokes about it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm going to tell you this real quick. I know it's not related to what we were talking about, but um, my grandmother had taken him up to the hospital for one of his checkups. And, you know, he taught himself to walk, even though he stumbled when he walked, mm -hmm. he was able to be on his feet. And, yeah. um, and so he was stumbling down the hallway and this lady came up to my grandma and said, I is he drunk? And my grandpa heard it and he could have been, yeah. you know, he could have like, what the hell is your problem? You know, but he goes, no, I sure wished I was. I'd get over this in the morning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. But, yeah, you know, beautiful. You know, you know that I have spinal problems and um, I, I've been in a wheelchair for years and I, I, you know, still use a cane to get around. But when I'm out in public and people just, flat out ignore me they'll cut me off they seem i'm, I'm ha already having a hard time walking but they'll just mm -hmm. cut right in front of me or make me go around and stuff mm. like that i don't like that feeling so i don't want other people to feel you know like they're being ignored and and people just don't care that's yeah. why i do another reason why i do what i do try yeah. to make people feel important yeah yeah you know there's always a reason there's a reason why we do things even men who are act badly towards women there's a reason why they got to that point and your story is so beautiful with your grandfather and you you have a reason why you compliment women why you try to be kind to women you know you want to bring joy i really like it yeah well, that's what he taught me story. He taught me yeah. to, well, and not just to women, but to all people in general. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to see a man, man who came out of, and, and I don't like touching on these subjects unless this is the subject of our conversation is, you know, he came out of an era where you were prejudiced against people. Mm -hmm. And then I saw him change yeah. as, you know, in, he, even in his older years, he could have stayed the same old bitter person. But, you know, I, I told you, I used to be married to an Hispanic woman and, you know, my kids were half Hispanic and he just loved them so much. And I noticed his whole demeanor and his whole attitude and the way he thought changed. So he's, when he started being kind to people that weren't the same color as, as he was, that made me proud. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I think people just genuinely want to be kind. There's just happened to be those people on, you know, the Twitters and all that stuff that they're, they've got some kind of weird agenda and I don't know why they feel the way they do. I, I, I genuinely like to understand. I mean, please explain it to me because I don't want to judge you, but yeah, I, I just, I, I think there's people out there that just want to be good to each other, but for some reason, this social media life that we're living is preventing us from doing that. Yeah. You know, I really like that you are so authentic and there's a reason why you're genuine and it shows through. And I like it because, you know, men and women, we want to have the little bit of hope that we see someone else having an honest conversation or talking about real things. So the things that we've touched on, you know, opening doors or smiling or complimenting, these are everyday things, they are real. Mm -hmm. And yet there are always repercussions for your actions. And I think that men and women, we want examples. We want to know that we are normal and we don't want to feel bad about the actions that we take. And so I think that your story just, it ties it all together, that it makes sense 
you know, we want to be good. We just want good examples. Yeah. Well, we need, we need to teach our children that it starts at home. Yeah. So teach your kids to be courteous, no matter what, be courteous till it hurts, you know, <laughs> yeah. and then yeah. keep still being courteous, no yeah. matter how bad people treat you. Um, you know, I think you had made that statement to me yesterday where you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. Cut your losses and then just look for the good. Look for and the you good. will find that if you keep doing it, you keep being kind, polite, a good person, you will draw more and more of that to you. So that's why you don't stop. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is about come to its end. Um, there's, I could easily break off into more topics. I know. But, so uh, fun. We're yes. going to save that for another show because there are some really serious things that some we need to stuff. get into. Um, you know, I, I told you both of my boys are gay. And so um, I've kind of, I guess they entered that LGBTQ community. And, um, you know, there's, that's another thing that men are going to want to know is when they do come across a, another woman that happens to be gay, you know, handling that situation in the proper way, um, you know, not trying to offend anybody, but yeah, you know, you, yeah. you still, you, you, you're going to ask people out and you don't always know what their preferences right. are. It just, it's, you know, it just adds another layer. Yeah. It's another layer, but we're going to get more in depth in that later. Um, there's so many things we can talk about. If there's something that, uh, whether you're a man or a woman, you want to talk about, um, comment, send, yeah. send me an email, um, you know, go on to my social media and leave a comment. Let, let me know what it is you want to talk about. And we will gladly try to bring that topic up and um, you'll get my perspective. You'll get Rachel's perspective and um, let's keep the, the conversations open. But let's be I nice love it. about it. I love it. I love it. An honest conversation. And Kyle, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Rachel, thank you. Um, I, I think this is going to help a lot of people and I appreciate you wanting to help take that step and, and to bring in this out to the light. Yes, agree. Thank you so much. Well, until the next one. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe because it's only through your support that we're able to continue doing the things that we do. And until the next one, have a great, great day.